If you won't listen to me, I'll find someone who will. Careful, man. The Thieves' Guild has made in black The cousin of the back. Emperor was murdered. One in solitude at her own damn wedding. End up in Not a chance jail. we would have let that happen worse. Nate? Oh, it's you. I'm Come to extort more just from me? Don't Hands to yourself, sneak thief. lies with the Empire. We haven't much to discuss. You look like someone who can hold their liquor. How about a friendly contest to win a stamp? Damn God, won't take the time. Huh? Yeah? Are you all right? Huh? Uh, well, not really. What's wrong? Well, I was taking an evening walk like I always do, and I saw some men outside the Echo Deep Mine. The thing is, they look like mercenaries, up to no good. What makes you say that? I've never seen them around here, and they look real tough. In addition, the Echo Deep Mines are not a place people go. There are myths about it. What kind of myths? All sorts of stories. Some say it's haunted by ghosts. Some say a wealthy bandit lord hides out in it, quietly contributing to the crime in Riften. Some people even say that deep within the mines there are Dwemer ruins, full of all sorts of automatons just waiting to slay whoever enters. So what's the problem? On my way back from my walk, I passed the mine entrance again. I heard all sorts of horrific noises. I reckon something happened to those men. Anyone going to those mines is up to no good. Now I've asked a guard to take a look, but they just ignore me. I need someone to see what's happened. Would you go look for me? Please, if they are planning something, the city guard needs to know. Please, go check for me. <sighs> sure, I'll take a look. Finally, thank you. I'll mark it down on your map. Uh, just be careful. Uh, we still don't know what's in there. Okay, we are off. Let's check it out. Find the men. Jalamar saw entering Echo Deep Mine. Echo Deep Mine. Welcome, dear viewers, to Couch Warrior TV on YouTube. I am the Couch Warrior, and you are watching Dark Messenger number 32, the continuing adventures of Wandering Archer Centrosi. Please help me. I'm going to lose my job at the Rift. Sorry about your job. I've got bigger fish to fry. And who doesn't like fried fish, after all? Welcome back, everyone. This is episode 32. And I am uh, excited to announce that... I find your hand in my pocket. Yeah, you and what army, man. Um, I, I am excited to announce that uh, we are going to adventure with Centrosi and Falskar. So, we have started off in Riften. We met with an old man named Jalamar, who, who has some concerns about stuff going on. Ah, they got that handled. He's got some concerns about what's going on in Echo Deep Mine. Apparently that is near some place that he frequents or near his home. He said he saw some mercenaries going in and out of there, so we're going to check it out. There's rumors of myths and monsters and gold and Dwemer artifacts. 
that's just the kind of thing that Centrosi might be interested in checking out. So we're gonna do that. So we are on our way to Echo Deep Mine. It is not far from Riften. We're gonna go very stealthily here. Now, he said he thought it was mercenaries in there. To me, that means bandits and hostilities. So we're just gonna assume that that's what we're gonna be up against here. And a deer. Okay, let's have a look. I have not stocked up really on anything since our last adventure, which I'm going to have to do. Um, let's go with glass. We've only got a few Daedric arrows. We're going to conserve those. And there's a deer. Whoa. That's some crazy vampire shit going on there. Oh my gosh. That was crazy. Usually where you find those beasts, you find vampires as well, but I'm not seeing any. We're going to have to count on the Rifting Guard to deal with those guys. We're going to Neko Deep. So, Falskar, for those of you who don't know, is a... I don't know, I guess... Quest mod. It's kind of a quest mod. It's actually a lot more than that. It's um, a sizable expansion of Skyrim in the form of a mod. And we are going to go check it out. First, we got to deal with these clowns. Our friends here. So we're going to pick our way through here carefully. Bandit Ice Mage, Lieutenant Overseer. I'm not sure what that means. Arrow back. What is that? So... One thing that I'm not sure on is whether or not I am going to be able to find all of the ingredients I need for crafting my arrows in Falscar. So right now I'm going to work under the assumption that that's not going to be an option for me. So I'm going to have to conserve what I can and there will probably come a point where I'll have to use some standard arrows. In other words, arrows I haven't crafted myself, which is not ideal, but uh, probably be a fact of life here. Search the sky. Look at bandits. Huh, could have swore I had that. Ooh, glass arrowheads. Do need that. Hmm. Well, that's a good sign. At some point here, I'll have to do a little inventory and see what I've actually got in stock. Make as many of my own arrows as I possibly can. I know I have some things stockpiled, but not a ton. I don't have anything stockpiled, I don't think, uh, as far as making more Daedric arrows goes. So I'm pretty sure I'm out of luck on that one. So far, we're maintaining our stealth. Kill before you're killed. Generally good advice, but I think they're preaching to the choir on this one. Oh, 
Okay. Bandit Highwayman Berserker. Okay. I do like this Apotheus armor. I'm taking it. And I'm taking that money. Stroh's Makai Scimitar. Pretty cool looking. This, ugh. The old uh, Dwemer control rod spiked mace. I don't know. I just can't. I can't handle it. It's just too weird for me. It's too weird. I feel like, you know, if I was playing a Power Rangers themed game, that that might be appropriate. <laughs> Yeah, someone's here. What was that? Oh. As Jessa would say, right through the five head. Okay. Let's have a look-see. Did I bring a lantern? I don't remember. Yeah, I did. Bandit Lieutenant Overseer. Another Overseer. Good God. Look at that stuff. worth a lot of money, but I seriously doubt there would be any merchants in Skyrim who could actually pay me what it was worth. Look at that. <laughs> ah. Okay. Um, search you. Oh, thank you. That. Always taking the lockpicks. And that's really it. I'll take the opportunity to feed. Oh, and that's going to come again. That was weird. Not exactly how I would have liked to handle things, but I guess it got the job done. Take those. Go on those. You're a troll, man. Sounds like an armored troll, possibly. Just taking these torches just because I don't want to be backlit here. Oh, it is a troll. Huh. Interesting. Closer. I see ya. See ya again. Ooh, good jump. Well, took a couple of shots. 
but you know huh black dragon ninjato I don't think I've ever seen one of those taking it never seen one of those 120 pound draw string don't really need that I've already upgraded this bow as much as I can Bandit Butcher Maniac. Butcher Hood, Bow Stringer, don't need that. Ebony Axe. Worth a lot of dough, but too heavy. Take that necklace? Sure. Why not? So I'm not really sure how I'm going to handle Falscar with this character quite yet. Um... I'm kind of doing Falscar on a lark, to be honest. I hadn't given it a lot of thought. I just thought, hey, let's go have some fun. Where should we go? Fal Falscar. So there's a lot of stuff going on in Falscar. And uh, I've, only, I've done it before, but I've, I've only scratched, I think, the surface of what's doable in the mod. God, I wish I could shoot over this, but I just know it's not going to work. So I won't even attempt it. Um... So, I am going to just kind of take it as it comes, see what things present themselves, and, you know, um, kind of break the adventure into bite-sized pieces, as it were. little bit of the uh, animate weapon. Kind of fun. Okay, elven arrowheads. I can, I guess I can use those. What else here? What was that? What do you think it was? Still haven't figured that whole thing out. It is quite bizarre. Did we scare him? Oh, yeah, he's hurting. Delivered right to our feet. Take that. Oh, a lot of gold. That's good. How am I carrying too much already? Wow. That is incredible. Incredible. Let's uh, go through our inventory, see if there's... Oh, yeah. Look at that. I got a lot of crap here that I don't need. Obviously, I did not get time to sell things, so... We're going to ditch some stuff. I want to keep this Black Dragon Ninjato, though. There's something kind of cool about that. Although this Black Sting Sword does more damage. The Hunting Knife I have to keep. Um, bows. Those can go away. Claymore can go away. 
Mm. Yeah. That stuff. Yeah, I did take on that armor, didn't I? Don't need that. There's the uh, backup armor. Group of spurs. See, this is just kind of like random stuff that I kept from before. Never really got around to selling it. Should have sold the stuff off while I was in Riften, but I didn't. Now I put that on the uh, on the bandit's body. Just because I don't really care, I guess, if I keep it or not. That's the one thing about I. You know, Centrosi, he's, he's, he's never been concerned about accumulation of wealth. He's always concerned about finding things that are of interest to him. But he will always, always, always let those things go in the interest of continuing adventure. So, okay... All right. Earlier today, a group of young men paid us a handsome fee to let them through the mines into the Dwemer area below. I was more than happy to oblige, but I couldn't imagine that they'd want to go down there. I thought, I thought we were, I thought we were tough for coming this close to the ruins, but they went right inside. They've already been down there for hours. They're probably dead. Okay. There were several loud screams and crashes from below. We heard the clatter of metal on metal, the loud mechanical grinding noises. The sounds continued for several minutes before ceasing abruptly. I can only imagine what went on down there. Some of the men wanted to leave, but I'll do no such thing. This cave is the perfect hideout for us, and I won't give it up just because of old myths and mysterious sounds. Okay. Well, ooh, deadly poison, ebony sword. As I was saying before, I just, if I ditch things, I always look for a way to get rid of them on a body that I know is going to, you know, eventually be removed from the world space. That way I'm not dropping, you know, clutter all over the forest and the, the roads and stuff like that. And, um, you know, creating an ever bloated save game file. There are a lot of people in watching a Let's Play, especially if they've kind of jumped in in the middle and they're not familiar with the background of a character will say, oh, you forgot this, or you missed that, and da 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 and I, I do appreciate that. I don't see everything, obviously. Um, in the last Let's Play, you may notice, too, that I had completely forgotten about the fact that my poisons wouldn't affect Draugr. And so I literally wasted eight or ten poisons trying to have an impact on the Draugr, where technically it wasn't even possible. So, you know, when I'm playing the game, I'm immersed, and in this character, it's really... It's not about accumulation of wealth so much as it is about exploring and having an adventure. When I think of Centrosi, I think of really the ultimate adventuring purist in a way. Um, he's a, kind of a solitary person, and he goes into these places for the sake of having an experience. And I, I think of him as sort of an individual who is kind of an adventure junkie, you know? There's something about, uh, you know, the, the, the adrenaline rush of fighting and exploration of, of unknown areas that um, appeals to him and is, is kind of what he lives for. So I think for him, there would definitely be a certain amount of excitement around finding an object of power, for example. Oh, that was close. But... Ah! Damn. When I get to the bottom there, when I get close to the end, is when I really muff things up. It's 
Especially when I'm talking and not paying attention to what I'm doing. Come on now. All right, now I'm paying attention. Watch this, I'm paying attention. I'm observing where my lockpick is positioned. Okay. Now, let's see, I'm just a little bit. Ah, there it is. What do we got? Gear, don't want it, don't want it. You like the gold? Hmm. I would just look dumb with that on. So, what's in here? Well, this stuff is better than the other chest, and this is locked. This is not locked. Uh, huh. Boots of the Phoenix. We'll snatch that. Water breathing, why not? So, of course, then, part of this is about understanding the psychology of our protagonist here, which is that, uh, for him, it's about the experience of the adventure, the rush of discovery. Um, so if I miss something, eh, I miss something. I guess I can always go back and get it if it's that stinking important, right? But you know, you always hear silver hand mantle. Oh, that's just crazy looking. I'm grabbing it. You hear about people, you know, who are kind of like adrenaline junkies. The people who have to go explore the places that have never been explored. Uh, the people who have to climb the mountain even though it's dangerous just because it's there. That kind of thing. That's kind of how I picture Centrosi sort of living his life. I just have to check this out. What was that thing called? Mantle? No, 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 no. Or is it Silverhand? Yeah, it's considered heavy armor. Jeez. It's kind of badass, isn't it? Normally, I don't like this kind of stuff, but that is actually kind of wicked. Huh. Sadly, it is heavy armor, but oh my gosh, I'm, I'm keeping it. I'm keeping it. Uh, let's go back to our regular gear. All right. All right. What we got going on here? What is that? Is that a big monstrous Dwemer? Oh, it is. It's gotta be. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Hmm. What could we do here? Firstly, let's use a junk arrow. Let's get us some breathing room. Let's send him over there. Then we're going to use a Daedric. We're going to whittle him down a little bit. Okay. And then we're going to go to a time bomb. Here he comes. Coming up. I don't want to use all my Daedric stuff on him. Why don't you think a shock would affect Dwemer thingy? Oh, that seemed to work okay. Let's hit him with another surprise at the top of the stairs here. I'm just going to go to old fashioned. He's just still coming. He has a big bucket of bolts. Where's he going? Come back. 
I don't want him to leave. Attention. I think the room is maybe small enough that he's not gonna. Huh. Ooh. What? What is that? Dragon Steel Arrow. Has a weird looking quiver. Never seen those before. Plumber oil, taking it. Just of that garbage I'm not taking. Recover an arrow here. There's one. Any I missed? Probably, but. The Centurions are tough, but they're slow. Um, and that makes them. Easy pickings for an archer who's willing to use his brains. Take the gold. Not going to take the leather twine. I can make that. Leather twine is an ingredient in knock to tip for making your own bows, bow stringer. I can make those as well. Don't need that. Ancient lexicon, taking it. Mercenary's journal, just in case I need it. Ah! Uh -huh. Oh. No centurion to loot. Just the illusion of a centurion to loot. That's too bad. Alright, let's um, see what happens, man. Travel through gate. I'm not sure I want to do that, to be honest. But, if ever there was a character who would eventually be killed by his own curiosity, it would be Centrosi. So, here he goes. Oh! Thank you, Alexander J. Veliki for making Falscar for all of us. And here we are. through that then then that would make you the traveler wouldn't um it? i do travel uh traveler what's the traveler they who arrive through the shimmering gate mark the start of the worst it's a just a story of course i'm going to assume you're from skyrim and you somehow managed to get the portal working my job would dictate that i arrest you right here and now However, I'm in the middle of something important right now. If you give me a hand with it, afterwards you're free to go. I'm searching for a Nord named Machias. He's the blacksmithing apprentice in the nearby town of Ember Creek. I assume that since he isn't in here, he's in the nearby cave. Unfortunately, I can also assume that that cave is full of bandits. I'll still have to report your arrival to my superiors, but if you assist me, I'll say you were cooperative and helpful. Oh, also, the switch to lower these bars is out here, and it looks like your portal thing has shut off, meaning I'm the only one who can let you out. Okay, sounds fair. <laughs> Both of these answers are excellent. <laughs> I don't have any choice here unless I'm prepared to just sit here and rot. So. Let's make our deal. All right. Let me lower these bars for you. 
Yes, please do. We won't uh, make any sudden moves. We don't want to provoke the guy. Got a trust issue here. Well, let's get moving. I don't want to waste any more time. Completed. An ancient gate. Help Olvir search Brittle Run Cave. Okay, we can do that. Well, this is interesting. Long way from home. So we're going to help Olvir try to uh, gain the favor of the locals. And see what comes of it. I don't even know what to say. I'm just going with it. Bring it on, new drinker. <laughs> Was I using crap arrows there too? Oh, I was using my glass ones, okay. <laughs> we have to come up with a name for that bow effect, right? Um, just adopt it as, as part of our deal. Um, Hmm. Crippler spear. Centrosi's cursed bow of seizures. Something like that. thing I am not going to do is Centrosi doesn't spend a lot of time fighting with followers and I'm not going to let them con me into fighting with their style. We got to be true to true to our own style here. The absolute uh, kiss of death for an archer is going to be to break discipline just because of a follower it's the discipline of the archer that makes it possible for us to be effective Who's there? What do we have here? oh look at that see that just drives me nuts he has the seizure before I can actually get my shot off that's the worst scenario too is retreat. I think what we need here okay and then I wonder if I've got I don't have anything specifically to 
resist magic shock. You can run, but you can't hide. Are you sure? Because I feel like I can hide right now. God, that is it. Although, it's like a completely mental <laughs> equivalent of stun, so I guess I shouldn't uh, discount it entirely. It just looks bananas. It's okay. Wheel of pain. I'll take that. Olvier isn't looking. I'm gonna get a little drink. Delicious. Hey, dude, you had an arrow sticking in him. Huh. This is nice. Yeah, I'm coming. Just go on, do your do your thing. What are we gonna do? that. Ah, he found his buddy. While he's doing that, we're going to do other things. Let's explore this place. Oh, more obvious armor. I want to find somebody who's got more pieces. So far, we've only got the Curus, but I know that there's boots, helmet, gloves. There's even like a scarf for that set, and uh, it's kind of interesting. Don't like the helmet. We're going to take these steel arrows, just because I'm not sure if we'll have an opportunity to make any. The Apotheus uh, armor helmet, I just don't think I would use. It's cool, but it's not, I think, fitting for Centrosi. Switch to open the cages on the wall over there. I have important news for Agnar. What is it? Are you all right? Oh, come on. They're working for Ingvar. I overheard them talking. They're searching for something. That's Don't mind me. Them. I'm just. What, are they searching just... For? what could you possibly know? Just use a little sleight of hand to palm that gold while they're looking the other way. Works for me. They were deciding what to do with me. Just looking at the helmet. Thank the divines for that. Agnar must know about this. I'll have our friend here tell him. You go home tell and get some rest. Tell who? Who am I telling? What? What are we doing? Why are you going back in that cage? What? What's happening? Go to Amber Creek to the southeast. I'd go but have a patrol to keep. And Machias is rattled and needs to rest. Once you're there, find the Jarl Agnar in the main house. Tell him the bandits are working for Ingvar. It's imperative that he knows. He may also have a reward for you for delivering such information. Yeah, sure. Information. If you follow me, I'll unlock the gate for you. I think you're just milking this whole dependent relationship we've got going on right now. I'm being blackmailed. That's what's happening. All this? It happened with arrows. Oh, he's got a Pothius armor too. Please. Oh no. No more pieces. What the heck? What's going on, man? Did I, uh. Did I keep that? I did keep it, right? The Curus? I did. Okay. Alright. So. I don't need three of them. I searched this goon. Well, hopefully this means that we'll gain entry now. How could this happen? Again, it was the whole shoot in the face with an arrow thing. That's how it happened. Off we go to Amberhold. Hey, that's a cool statue. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I am excited about uh, traveling in Falskar. We'll see how this goes. 
like I said, again, I don't know if I'm going to show every square inch of what I do here. That's typically not my style with Centrosi. But we'll try to hit, you know, the highlights if we can. I'm going to explore the island and find out what there is to see and come back and share it with you on kind of a case-by-case -case basis. Welcome to Falska. Okay. Looks ni nice enough, but where the hell am I? I mean, we're in Tamriel. If I'm still in Tamriel. It's gorgeous, though. Well, thanks for watching, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you join me next time while we continue to explore Falskar. Should I follow him or follow the road? Is he coming back? He's coming back to the road. We're going to go our own way. I'm sure that that guy will eventually catch up. And again, hey, thanks for joining us on yet another adventure of Dark Messenger, the continuing adventures of Centrosi the Archer, the Wandering Archer. <laughs> and we'll see you next time. Until then, have fun and game like crazy. Bye-bye.